Saturday. This is Sherry from Style Tips with Sherry. Today, we're going to talk about socks. You guys requested this a lot when I asked a few weeks ago on Facebook and Instagram, what topics do you want to hear on YouTube? And this was like an overwhelming, like number one, how to wear socks when it's cold out, what color socks, all the things. All right. So I went to Target today, going to pop up a couple photos here, and everything was like the little footies, like everything. It was like the no-show socks or the little footie that was just like the little, sh and I was like, well, that doesn't work if it's, you know, you want to keep your legs warm. So how do we do that? So then I kind of found, I dug on the other side and saw, and I mean, I stood there for a long time and ended up actually buying one pair of socks and coming home because I actually had the others in my drawer. So it, it, it is, you probably are going to have these in your drawer. So that's a really good thing. All right. So first thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you a pair of uh, sneakers. This works with any color sneaker. So right here, I'm showing you a pair. It's got little gold on it. It's white with gold. It's got the leopard, uh, you know, shoelaces, but I'm showing this photo with just jeans. And the reason I'm showing you that is because when the jeans, if it's a wide leg or full leg, when they're down, right, you can't see the sock. And so it's only when you go to sit and you sit down and then, oh, the sock shows. So what I would tell you is that as long as you have at least one color that's the same in the shoe or the the pant. So it's just same as pattern mixing like we do with regular clothes. So just one color has to be in. And as you can see, though, I have like a, a grayish black and white kind of pattern, you know, pattern sock. And the black is in the shoelace and the white is in the shoe. So it works. It's fun. It's only going to show for a minute if I sit down or depending on how long I'm sitting. So, all right. Now, let's take a look at a pair of casual pants. So these are jeans, but they're, they're green. They're like a cargo pant. And same rule applies. I've got um, the white in the argyle square, same as the white in the shoe. And there's also a little green in that sock. It's like a grayish green, so it kind of picks up the green of the pant. It's just a fun little pattern. It's not like outrageous, but it, you know, it's argyle and it, and it shows and it's absolutely fine. I can wear this all day long. I could also wear this with a pair of low uh, like booties that maybe aren't like a high ankle boot that just kind of comes up, you know, around the ankle a little bit that works with those as well. And if I wanted to wear a solid color, I could do that. But I would want to make sure that the solid color sock was a kind of a thick, kind of like a just something that that does it's not like thin to the foot. Just kind of like a knit almost, but just, you know, kind of a thicker sock and it absolutely works. All right, so what else do I have for you here? No, this is it for the, the pant and these shoes. And so let's go on to the next look. All right, so now I'm showing you loafers. So any slip-on shoe, any Oxford shoe, any uh, lug sole shoe, pretty much any kind of flat shoe that you can think of, even a clog, a clog works with this as well, or a mule, you know, especially in winter, they're a little bit, the clogs are a little bit chunkier, but I'm doing this with, I'm showing you with just a loafer and I am wearing a pair of the same socks, not the Argyle ones, but just the, the grayish, blackish and white. And I'm wearing these with the black loafers because remember the black picks up the black in the loafer and it just shows a little bit. And when the jean is all the way down, it you can't see it at all. But when I walk a little with this shoe, you can. You could also do a solid sock with this. And I would stick with black for this. I, I wouldn't go too crazy with other colors and um, just kind of keep it classic. But again, pattern mixing or the solid but make sure that the color is similar to uh, one of the colors in the shoe. And there's only one color here, so 
There you go. All right, let's go on to the next look. So on this look, I'm showing it with a, a kind of a casual shoe that's more of a full cover coverage on the on the foot. And so this is uh, by Picolino, that brand, super comfortable shoe. And it also has cutouts through it, but yet it's a fall shoe. And so you, you want to wear a sock with it in the, in the winter. It looks great with all kinds of pants, but I'm showing it here with a dress pant. And so what I did is, you know, it was hard to kind of see like, huh, where am I going to go with this? So I ended up going with a brown kind of a, a, a knee high with this. It's got, I don't know how close you can see, it probably, it doesn't show up even very well. It's hard to see there, but it's kind of like a ribbed knee high. So you can do that as long as it's a color that's in the family. So here we've got the camel pant. I've got the kind of medium brown shoe. It's hard there. I could not find a pair of socks that were this color like unless it went like really white or cream and the cream just didn't look good so I opted for a darker neutral and so if you're wearing a family of colors go ahead and get a family of of you know a, a color that's in the family so these are the browns and the tans and you will be absolutely fine I would go darker though I wouldn't go lighter with this and I don't think patterns work with this kind of outfit and so definitely go with solid and if you were wearing jeans with this I could do it I could do a navy even if I were doing dark navy jeans or if I was doing a black pant I could go black even in that direction because then we're only down to two colors but because I had the camel and the the brown shoe I had to figure out what is the best neutral and so that's why I went with the brown family on this one all right the next footwear I'm going to show you is an ankle boot which is always super, super trendy during the fall. And it is again this year. And so I'm showing you with two different bottoms. One is a cropped, kind of a, just a cropped jean and I have it rolled up. And then the other is a kind of a kick flare kind of pant that has a little bit of flare at the bottom, but yet it, it hits right above where the ankle boot is. Okay. So in the one look with the straight pair of jeans, I did that with a fun sock, a pattern sock. It, it's that same gray and white kind of, you know, two color, maybe a little black woven in, wove in there. And I think that's a fun look. Could you do a darker pair? Absolutely. But I do love just that little peekaboo. So what you would do is you would take a straight pair of jeans and you're going to um, take your ankle boot, so whatever color it is, so like for this is black, right? You want to roll up your 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 jeans that are gonna they're gonna sit right above where it touches the top of that boot, okay, that ankle boot. Then you wear a fun sock underneath. So when you sit down, it shows. When you walk a little, it shows. I love it. I think it's so cute. Again, same thing. There was a little black in there, so we're, we're pulling the black. Then the second look is that kick flare. So it has a little bit of width at the bottom. This one, I, I wanted a little bit more of a, uh, well, as you can see, this also has a little bit of reptile kind of, fabric-y look to it. But nevertheless, I, I just, even if it were a solid, I do like this. It, it feels a little more dressy. And so I went for just a solid pair of, um, they were knee highs, but they were a little bit thicker underneath. So really it just kind of, when it flows over it, it just kind of, you know, it just kind of looks like it's part of the shoe a little bit so you can't really see the skin so you guys i hope that that helps you with your footwear and sock wardrobe and i really tried to think of every scenario like i really did like okay so if we had casual pants if we had dress pants if we have a kick flare so I hope you love this video. I hope it was helpful. Tell me, do you wear socks? And if you have your own tip, would love to hear it below. And until next week, go get some new socks. See ya. Bye-bye.